If you want to use your Android smartphone or tablet as a controller or gamepad for your PC, then here is how to do it. One of my viewers asked me if it is possible and here it is. If any of you have any other questions like this, then ask me in the comments section. Now, let's begin. First download this Joy server from the link in description and open it to install in your Windows PC. Select your language and click OK. Click Next. Click on I accept the agreement and then click Next. Click Next again, click Next once more. Here check create a desktop icon if you want a desktop icon and click next. Now click install. Once it's done click ok. Then click finish. Droidjoy will open. If Windows Defender Firewall appears, click on allow access. And that's installed for your PC. Now come to your Android device. You need to install Droidjoy from Play Store on your Android device. I have given the link in description. Once you have installed Droidjoy in your Android device, open it. Tap this box to check it and then tap get started. Swipe through these instructions and then tap close. Here tap OK. So now I will show you how to connect it to your PC. You can use Wi-Fi or Bluetooth to connect. I will show you both. Let's start with Wi-Fi. Turn on Wi-Fi in your Android device and connect it to a Wi-Fi network. You can see the name of the Wi-Fi my Android device is connected to. Your PC should also be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. The Wi-Fi network may or may not have internet. That's not a problem. You don't need internet on action to use this. You can check I have connected my PC and Android to the same Wi-Fi. Once you have done it too, Go back to Droidjoy in your Android device and tap on connect. Here tap on the plus button in the lower right corner. Then tap find server. Once it's found, tap on save. Now tap on the server that appears here. After some seconds you will be notified that it's connected. Check the connected device on the Droidjoy window of your PC. If you find a connected device here, everything is right. That's how you connect using Wi-Fi. Now let's talk about another option that is Bluetooth. Turn on Bluetooth in your Android device. Now we need to change the connection type in Droidjoy in Android. To do this, go back to Droidjoy in your Android device and tap on Settings. Then tap on Connections. Then tap connection type. Select Bluetooth here. Now go back and open settings in your Android device. Go to Bluetooth and make sure Bluetooth is on both on your Android device and PC. Find your PC using Bluetooth in your Android device and pair it to connect. Once pairing is done, go back to Droidjoy in your Android device and tap connect. Then tap the plus button. Then tap find server. Once a server is found, tap save. And now tap the server to connect. That's it for Bluetooth. Once you have connected either using Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, tap on gamepad in Droidjoy in Android. Then choose any layout you want.
and the controller will open. Now you are ready to test it. First of all you will have to set the controls for the game you want to play. I will open a game to test it. Go to control setting of the game you have and set the controls. This will be different for different games. Once you have set the controls, you can play the game. So, here I have finished setting the controls. And I will show you the gameplay. Mario Kart 7! The buttons are working. I am not feeling any latency in the input. It's going fast. Mario! The controls are working fine. The analog stick is working great. Every button is doing its job correctly. I do not feel any latency and it's fast enough. So, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Yahoo!